Hey, it's me Naturally Stacey Stace and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't watched my previous video, then you won't know that I have a gut health problem where I can't have gluten, dairy, sugar, certain fruits and certain vegetables and all these other things. I'm currently seeing a naturopath, her name is Claire Smith. She's been giving me herbs and supplements. So I'm going to be showing you what I've been taking from when I visited the allergy clinic for the food intolerances. And then I'm going to be showing you what I've been taking from Claire Smith, from the naturopath, and what I'm still taking now. So when I first went to the allergy clinic, I was tested for, I think, over 100 different things to find out if I had any intolerances to them. I was to take probiotics, vitamins and minerals for three to four months and digestive enzymes for one month. I remember when I was taking the digestive enzymes that um, my forearms, my forearms here kept getting really itchy on both arms and I didn't know what it was. Um, until I stopped taking the digestive enzymes, then I realised that's... I don't know if it was the brand or what it was, but it was making my skin really itchy and it would be hot as well. So I continued taking everything else that I was supposed to take, the probiotics and the vitamins and minerals, and my diet was obviously gluten-free now, dairy-free, sugar-free, what was there that I could eat. <laughs> So this lady, this was the second person that I saw who I then continued seeing. She suggested that I do a generic cleanse with oregano pills and continue taking probiotics. So I took the oregano pills for um, 60 days. I still have a bottle to show you. So I took this. And again, that was to, you know, like clean out the stomach, the digestive system, get all the bugs, bad bacteria out. So I forgot to say, these are the multiple vitamins that I was supposed to take. Sorry, that I did take. It's not I was supposed to, I did take them, I swear. So then after having the stool sample done, the lady had said that she was kind of unable to help me and so she suggested I get some herbs from her friend who is a naturopath. The way I say friend as if it's just some random person, um, you know, an actual naturopath who she knows. So she gave me some herbs um, that come like this. And the first set that she gave me, I was fine with. It and it was for the liver, kidney and bowel support and it was a gentle microbial um, tincture for gut rebalance as well. So then after that she gave me two tinctures to take. Um, this one had barberry, Oregon grape, bilberry, ginger and this one I kept having a rash. So a rash started to develop on my neck. This other set of herbs, which was for, um, so the first set was to like kill the bacteria. And then the second set for the next 10 days was to like wash it all out. So it was like a laxative to try and get it all out. And I would just keep going back and forth. And I noticed that when I was taking the second set of herbs, my rash would, it would still be there but it would die down and it wouldn't really itch and then as soon as I went back to taking the first set it started itching again so then that's when we found out that I couldn't have those things um, or it's not that I couldn't have them it might have just been that it was too much straight away because there's so many things going on in my digestive system so then that's when the lady um, from the allergy clinic had said that my case was a bit too complicated and that I should see an FMP, sorry, functional medical practitioner, or um, see Claire properly, the naturopath. So 
in the end I decided to go with Claire because when I spoke to a functional medical practitioner the support that they were offering was not enough at all um, and I know that I have so many reactions to things and so I knew that I needed you know to be able to call someone just to say okay I'm having this reaction should I continue taking this or email them or whatever it is just to say this is happening should I continue with it or not so in the end I just went with Claire and she started off by giving me some herbs again but um, at a lower dosage and they weren't as um, as strong and they were all to like just calm my digestive system try and rebalance things um, help my kidneys my liver and again I would take these for like 10 days and then switch to another set for 10 days and keep going back and forth until after a month then with Claire as I said I was given multiple things to take I've been seeing Claire um, from the beginning of this year and these are all the things I've taken so far with Claire um, chromium Vitamin C, the buffered C select. Sat <laughs> Satro Saturomyces bilardi. Um, mucosa calm which is um, for the intestine which is for the intestinal lining um, I then had these um, activated B6 tablets vitamin B and then I accidentally brought this one which is the B6 complex the next time that I was supposed to have B6 sorry that was the other one in case you didn't see it um, and yeah and so the B6 complex has all of the vitamin B's in there and it also has biotin um, choline and something else um, <laughs> And then I was also given this to take, which is called Inner Defence. And um, I really liked taking this. It tastes so good and it smells so good. It's empty now, but I can still smell it really strongly. Um, this has coconut oil, clove oil, oregano oil, lemongrass, eucalyptus oil, rosemary oil, cinnamon, yeah, um, and again that's just to help the digestive system. So I've been taking those things, not all at once, I was taking maybe half of those things with um, herbs for about a month and a half and then the next half with again some other herbs for a month and a half kind of thing. Then I was provided with again more herbs so the herbs keep changing so the herbs keep changing so these ones this one was wormwood only and the other one that I had was andrographis and again they're both to kill bacteria kill parasites So what I'm taking now, that's been provided by Claire, um, vitamin C, which is um, the red mineral algae. I'm taking zinc, which is um, just 16 micrograms. 
still taking probiotics. I'm now taking vitamin D. Um, these are drops, these ones are actually really good. The last set of vitamin D um, things that I had were patches and for me I don't understand how patches work, I just think how does sticking something on your skin work. So um, I'm assuming they worked, I don't know, but I take these this instead now. And actually since taking that, I've only been taking that for a couple of weeks now, after like the first couple of days all of a sudden I just have energy <laughs> when I wake up in the morning I just I'm, I'm awake and all throughout the day as well I'm like energetic so it must be working um, I've been taking this TRS spray which is to um, a toxin and contaminant removal system so this is a spray. I take this at night. Um, you can find people doing reviews on this on the internet actually. Um, but you take however many sprays and and so like it um, attracts all the toxins and when you go to the toilet they come out. Then I'm taking then I'm taking iron gut. This is to line the, can't speak, <laughs> this is for um, microbiome health, mental clarity, toxin allergen protection and to help the immune function. This is supposed to kind of line your stomach. So this um, increases your body's production of beneficial enzymes through redox signaling. Um, yeah, trying to strengthen the gut lining. So I take that, this is a two week supply. And everything I take, everything I'm told to take is obviously gluten free, dairy free, sugar free, whatever other free that I can't have. And then, and now I am taking another tincture. And I've been given five of these bottles with just one tincture in there because the last set I just had of um, herbs, um, I started to get a rash again. That In the same place, the rash started to come back and none of the ingredients in that herbal tincture were the same as the other one that gave me a rash. So um, I've been given this bigger set that has everything that I can have in there and then been given these bottles with just one ingredient in there so that I can use them. So like I'll use this one day, see if I have any reactions to it because my body reacts very quickly to things. And then um, the next day I'll try the other one and so on and so forth and if they're all fine then I put them together and have them so I would have again this one for 10 days and then these ones for 10 days and keep going back and forth oh and I also take um, L-glutamine L-glutamine glutamine glutamine um, again, this helps to line your stomach. So that's everything that I'm taking at the moment. Um, I think things are beginning to work because I had lost a lot of weight because my body's not absorbing nutrients. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but my body's not absorbing nutrients, and it's basically due to di to <laughs> and it's basically due to the digestive problem that I have, and so that's what all these herbs and supplements are for to try and you know um, rebalance everything build up the my immune system um, get the gut lining strong again and 
remove all the toxins and all of that stuff. So just recently I realised that I had put on an inch. Um, it's an inch because I measure myself, I don't weigh myself. Um, so hopefully things are improving and working. So fingers crossed my weight continues, uh, my weight gain continues so that I can get back to the weight that I want to be. Um, and fingers crossed that what I'm taking is helping. I do know that it will take a very long time for you know anything to work because I've had the problem for a long time. I've had it for about five years now, gradually getting worse. So if I've had it for that long, it's going to take a long time to cure, to you know, to get back, to get my stomach back to normal, if it can even go back to normal. I may not be able to eat everything again, but at least I'll be able to eat things. So I'll just keep taking the herbs that I'm supposed to take and taking the supplements I'm supposed to take. And um, I am supposed to be having another hair test and I think another blood test soon. So when I have that, I will let you know my results, see if there's any improvements or not. And I will also show you what I will then be taking. So if you have any problems with your gut, um, dizziness, bloating, whatever, and you're going to your GP and your GP aren't helping you, or they're just telling you it's IBS, then try looking into seeing a naturopath instead. And as I said, I can suggest Claire Smith to you. I will leave her information in, I will leave her information in the description box below and feel free to contact her with your gut health problems or whatever else you may think that she can help you with. I think she also helps people um, like lose weight, so she's like a life coach as well. So there's so many things that she does. So just go on her website or sorry I think it's her Facebook link that she's given me so just go on there and check her out so in my next few videos regarding health um, I will probably be showing you what foods I eat and and doing some cooking with you I'm not the best cook at all I don't really like cooking <laughs> but obviously I have to cook now so um, yeah come and watch me cook I guess yeah, and so I think that's everything. Again, if I've missed anything out or if you have any questions, just ask. Um, put your questions in the comment box down below. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'm naturally Stacey Stace and I'm out. Bye.